South Central Avenue around 5 o'clock this morning. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live at the scene with more on this investigation. Cara, good morning. Suzanne, unprovoked is a word LA's police chief used to describe this morning's attack. Behind us, detectives are continuing to look for evidence as they try to figure out what motivated this gunman. As he crossed the intersection, he, he realizes or he hears that his glass of his vehicle is, is shattered. And at that point, he feels a uh, sharp pain to the back of his head. Assistant Chief Robert Marino says a 20-year veteran of the LAPD was shot this morning as he headed to work. He was off-duty in regular clothes in an unmarked truck just blocks from the Newton station when the bullet pierced his windshield. Investigators say the wounded officer kept driving towards work, then ran across the street to an L.A. County fire station where paramedics treated him before rushing to the hospital. Chief Moreno says the officer was extremely lucky. The single shot only grazed his head. I'm happy to report that he's in stable condition. He is not seriously injured and that he will be fine. A short time later, officers say they took this teenager with a handgun who matched the suspect description into custody. At this point, they do not think the officer was targeted, but confirm he's a detective who works with juveniles. They're also reviewing area security camera video and interviewing witnesses to make sure there are no other possible suspects. Chief Michael Moore quickly tweeted he'd spoken with the wounded officer by phone and was confident detectives will identify those responsible, adding there are too many guns right now in too many hands. There has been seen an increased number of violence against not only uh, uh, community members, uh, business owners, everybody. It, uh, it's, it's a significant increase that we've been seeing. Back here live, that is the officer's truck. It has not been moved since early this morning. If we pan across the street, just want to give you a feel for how close he was to the fire station here and those firefighters who were able to jump right in and to stabilize him. So very fortunate. Uh, officers say he is now recovering at the hospital uh, and he is with his family and with fellow officers as he does so. Back to you.